What's going on guys? I'm out here on a service call checking this uh, just train little 13 sear condenser out here, a ton and a half. Customer called and said that the unit was cycling on and off, on and off. And uh, so I got to looking around. It's kind of odd, um, sort of an unusual problem. Not once you find the problem, but just, uh, just a little bit odd. So basically what was happening is when I turned the breaker off to the condenser unit, had a calling for condenser to run, calling for Y on this heat pump. Uh, after the time delay, contact would pull in, everything would be good to go, no problems. As soon as I would turn the breaker on, con compressor on and off, on and off, on and off, over and over and over again, contactor chattering like crazy. So what I did is I uh, traced my low voltage wire. So you have Y feeding into the unit through the thermostat wire. It's feeding into our board right here. Goes through our board, feeds out on this yellow with black, and then it runs in series with three safeties, a dome sensor and two pressure switches, low pressure, high pressure. So I figured out that through just troubleshooting, just standard hopscotch, that I was losing power through these pressure switches. I was always maintaining my power out of the defrost board. So that cancels out everything past that. So we were looking for something through these switches or the contactor. Contactor coil ohmed out good, about 13 ohms, nothing to ground. Each switch ohmed out good, less than one ohm. All of them were about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ohms. Um, so I started ohming each one to ground. Wasn't really getting anything significant except for on the low pressure switch. I was getting a very low resistance to ground, about 12 to 13 million ohms to ground. Um, so I started looking into that switch and what I was thinking was that somewhere behind here those wires had maybe rubbed against a screw or rubbed against the spine fin coil and caused a very very slight short not enough to blow a fuse but just enough to sort of make things go crazy um, so obviously as you can see I took the unit apart and didn't find anything on the wires at all so I was kind of thrown for a loop for a second so I decided to look a little bit closer at this pressure switch and this is what I found Hopefully, hopefully you can see that, but that pressure switch is cracked. Split all the way up the side and then split all the way around. So what's happened is moisture has gotten inside of this pressure switch and caused it to act erratic. So unfortunately, I thought it was going to be as easy as just uh, fixing a wire. Unfortunately, with this four-year-old train, we're going to have to bypass this low pressure switch for temporary until we can get a replacement switch if the customer wants that so um yeah thought it was going to be pretty easy but uh turns out that we're going to have to actually replace a component so i'm just going to bypass that low pressure switch for now but just keep that in mind when you're getting some some funky numbers that uh if you don't find anything in the wires look real close at those pressure switches because something like that could have you chasing your tail for uh quite a while thankfully i was able to stumble across it but just keep that in mind guys hope it helps thanks for watching